Hello, it's the Buckthorn Man. <clears throat> Wednesday afternoon. I can't believe I'm here. I'm on the I'm on the uh, south side of the channel. I'm looking at site 334 across that wetland, and there's the Otter Lake Fen in front of me. We finished the uh, the north side of the channel this morning, and 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 got over here, and actually did a whole bunch of cutting down here on on the uh, south side of the channel as well. Here's that. Um, glorious specimen uh, of an oak and Chris Mann was just speculating with me that uh, this whole area area used to be wide open and uh, since uh, a certain point in time uh, all this buckthorn was just let they just let it go and uh, that very well could have been when the DNR took possession of the land I'm not positive but uh, every all the buckthorn and brush seems to be of the same age so it's, it's, um, I'm speculating that, um, that when the property changed hands, it, uh, didn't get any more care, and all this brush just went, went crazy. <clears throat> we know the DNR is short-staffed. They've got a lot of properties to manage, and, uh, a lot of the properties have to be managed to make revenue. That's, that's the reality of, of the way the DNR manages land. They have to make revenue. They have to make money try to pay for themselves and so it's really up to volunteers to step up and and uh, give their time and or our donation um, entities like the Kettle Murray Natural History History Association who have some money and they can hire some people like Chris Chris Mann and Austin Avalon and uh, I think maybe Andy Bookta might even start working for Chris Mann and, and get paid for his brush piling efforts, which he totally deserves. So, I'm going to walk down the path over here where, where we cut this morning, where I took that video this morning. And, um, I'm sorry, swinging the camera around here, but I want to show you that we did, did in fact lay all the buckthorn down between the trail and the wetland here all the way to the tamarack grove so I, I'll have to get a few more pictures of this but I'm, I'm really excited about how, how beautiful this is going to be as the seasons change and, and you can see the lay of the land and this, this wetland covered with snow or fresh greenery or fall colors it's just going to be um, it's just going to be so excellent. Looks like Andy took off. Hey Austin. Hey Chris. <laughs> Got a great profile shot of you there, dude. All right. <laughs> well, Chris and Austin had a great day today working their asses off. This is where I had my uh, my wheelbarrow. Holy smokes, look at this. This is where I parked my wheelbarrow this morning and uh, got a video uh, kind of walking down this way showing wh what we hope to cut this morning. Well, we got a whole lot more done than that. We finished this whole side of the channel and as you can see, we've got a ton of, ton of brush piled up here ready to go. We girdled these uh, white mulberries and some box elder, some black locusts we girdled. And uh, this whole area was, was a, a grove of mature buckthorns, 30, 40 foot tall buckthorns. And uh, we laid them all down today. So it's quite amazing um, what we've been able to do in just a couple weeks time. Uh, like, uh, like the Beatles, John Lennon or Paul McCartney, I don't know who, but uh, I get by with a little help from my friends. And I get high with a little help from my friends, too. Um, I'm the Buckthorn Man. And uh, thanks for following my, following my blog and following my adventures out here trying to restore this beautiful Kettle Moraine scenery.